Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for the iGive webinar. Uh, hopefully, you can hear me right now. Uh, if you can't hear me, I'm typing. Uh, you should please dial in. So. Uh-oh. My having some technical difficulties at the moment. It doesn't run this way. Like, there we go. Just some housekeeping before we begin. This webinar will be recorded and a link will be emailed to all participants and it will also be posted on the iGive YouTube channel and at support.igive.com in the webinar archive. Um, participants will be muted throughout the webinar, but please, please ask questions. You can follow that red arrow and click on the question box and type in your questions and we will respond either during the webinar or at the end. If your box does go away, uh, follow the blue arrow and you see there's a little orange arrow. We're big on colors today. Uh, and you can click on that and it will expand your box again so that you should have the ability to see your control panel. So, my name is Lena Scott. And I am part of the membership support team here at iGive.com, and today I'm joined by Sandy Schleicher. Hello, everybody. So Sandy has the big fancy letters job, Chief Technical Officer. Basically, it's his job to make sure that all the back end stuff runs so that your causes can get their money. So if it goes wrong, it's his fault. Head geek. Head geek is a good answer. So today, what is on our agenda? We're going to talk a little bit about what iGive is and how iGive works. We're going to talk a little bit about Amazon because I have to say that uh, Amazon is a frequently asked question that we get uh, in the support team. And because you are here today, you get to learn about our promo a little bit before everybody else. So we're excited to share a few details of our upcoming promo for the month of April. And then, of course, we're going to leave some time for Q&A. My guess is that today's webinar should take us just about a half hour. Um, but uh, if you have to leave, remember, like I said before, it will be recorded, and you can always uh, put in a question at support.igive.com, and we will do our best to answer them. So, thank you. So, what is iGive, and how does it work? Really, it's really a simple concept, Sandy, and you know this better than I do. Basically, you shop, your charity gets money for free. It's a really simple, simple concept. The stores pay us for sending you to shop at their stores. And they pay money, and we pass that money along to your cause. So it, it's a kind of a, a cool deal here. And we find that more and more stores every day are asking to be a part of the iGive program. I think right now we're saying 1,700 plus, but I think we're really close to hitting that 1,800 mark. I would expect that by the summer we'll hit 1,800 stores. Cindy, do you think that there's anything you can't buy through iGift? No. I, I mean, you've got 1,800 stores across the Internet, um, plenty of big ones certainly where you can get just about anything, and uh, lots of uh, smaller stores as well, even Etsy, which we added a couple months ago. And uh, so there's, there's an awful lot of stuff and a lot of variety. A lot of variety. So today iGive has over 350,000 members shopping at more than 1,700 online retailers and they're helping over 35,000 causes. Last year, our members donated almost a million dollars to their favorite causes and honestly, since 1997, they've been responsible for $8.5 million. You know, when I tell people that we've been around since 1997, it kind of amazes them. They're like, but the internet was like hardly in existence in 1997. And that is true, but one of the things that we're really grateful for is that our founder, Rob, had the thought back then to say, hey, wait a second. There are people making money on this new thing called the internet. Why not do some good as well? And so that's where this all started, was the idea of doing a little bit of good while people are doing the things that they're already going to do online. So the math, just so that everyone sort of gets how this works. Betty, she's our favorite shopper. Betty shops at HSN, and she knows that she will earn a 2% donation because we told her so, basically. She either signed into iGave.com and saw that it said 2%, or maybe she got a newsletter from us that said, hey, today's donation is 2%, or 
or she had the I Give button. And we'll talk a little bit more about the I Give button in a bit. I'll let you tell everyone about that because that's a techie kind of thing. Sure. But she made that purchase, $300, and $6 is going to her charity. So how does it get to her charity? Well, HSN sends I Give the money, and they send it with this anonymous ID number, and they say, hey, shopper12345 bought stuff for $300. They don't tell us what that he bought. We don't have any of that private information. We just know that she bought stuff at HSN. It totaled $300, and they say, here's the $6. We take that number, 12345, and back in our computer systems, we match that up. And we know, oh, that goes to Betty, and Betty wants to support this cause, so we put it into that account. And we know that the money is there waiting. As soon as that cause gets $25, we send them a check. And that doesn't all have to be from Betty. Betty and Bob and Billy and Jean, because, you know, <laughs> you got to add another name in there. All, all of their shopping goes together. So some causes actually get checks from iGive every single month. It's great. It's so much fun to get emails from people saying, I got another check and I'm so excited about it. So every month that your cause has $25 in the account, we send that cause a check. And as we say, rinse and repeat. So Sandy, I mentioned that I give button, and I said it's kind of a techie thing. I think that the I give button scares people because they think it's like some really complicated techie thing, but the reality is, is that even people who are less tech savvy, like me, can use the I give button, can't they? Yeah, it's it's absolutely simple to use. In fact, you don't have to do anything other than install it on you know on your browser. So uh, we've got different versions for the different browsers, Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, and, and Safari. So it doesn't really matter what platform you're on, except uh, mobile devices can't necessarily run them. Your mobile phones and such. Um, tablets, depending on your browser, may or may not support it. Um, but all you need to do is go to the iGive website, um, iGive.com slash button, B-U-T-T-O-N, you will get to a screen that is specific to the browser that you are on, that you're using, and it'll give you the install files. You just click it, and it loads right into your browser instantaneously. If you're using Chrome, it'll take you to the Chrome store. Um, uh, first, you'll have to download it from there. Uh, other than that, it downloads immediately, loads up, and you'll be taken right to a uh, congratulations on installing the iGive button page, and then you can go shopping. You just type in the name of the store that you want to type in right into your browser. Uh, you know, as if you were going to go to Macy's or JCPenney or REI or any other store you want to go to, and automatically it will uh, make sure that you get credit if you make a purchase set. What happens, though, if you uh, are using a Google search or a Bing search? So we actually, uh, if you've got the button installed in your browser, we actually flag the organic results that come through on those search engines so that you know which items are iGive stores versus non iGive stores. So uh, if you, know, you might see it, if a product flagged at JCPenney and not flagged at um, mom and pop store down the street dot com. And, uh, and then you can, because you know that, you can make a choice as to which store you want to buy it at, whether it's a donation gets made to your cause or not. Sometimes there's reasons you want to buy it from a local store that might not be on iGive. We certainly would prefer, uh, and your cause might prefer that you get it to iGive, but hey, that's personal choice. And we think that having that knowledge or information is, is really important. So when you're on an iGive store, you know because you see that little green triangle in the corner that says, I give on. That's right. And actually, there's, there's um, two different things you might see. Sometimes when you go to a store, you might, uh, you'll automatically see that I give on and you know everything is good, you're ready to go shop, etc. Some stores that work with I give require our members to click a special link to say, yes, I want to actually make a donation when I make a purchase. And in that case, automatically when you land on that merchant's website, a little banner will come across the top of the screen it's kind of red, kind of pinkish, and it says that this particular merchant requires you to click if you want a donation made. So you just click, and then you get 
to the same state as you would with the other guys. You got the I give on in the corner and you're ready to go. But again, the advantage to the I give button is that you can just go either from your Google search or from directly typing into the website without stopping at the I give site first. That's right. But are you required to use it? I mean, like what if I, you know, what if I'm at work and I can't and I want to shop something at work, but work doesn't let me put in a button. Right. So sometimes you sometimes you can't install the software on your computer. Like Lana said, at work, they might not allow it. Uh, in which case you can always click on a link in one of our newsletters, or you can go directly to the iGive.com website. Click on any of the links there. Those will go directly to the stores also, and you'll be able to shop and get credit. It's just not automatic. Um, we all, well, I'm probably not supposed to talk about apps yet. Not we'll, yet. We're going to get there. Okay. And um, but, we'll come back to it. We're going to talk more about Amazon. But you can also, if you want to shop at Amazon, then you'll definitely want to go through iGive.com slash Amazon. Or through the button. Or through the link on the menu of the button. And, we'll, again, we'll come back to that because I get it because... Amazon is special. The one thing I do want to mention, Sandy, is that sometimes people who are installing the I Give button get a virus alert. Can you sort of explain what that is and why that happens? Because I think that that also, I think it scares people when they say, oh, wait, don't install this. It's a virus. But we're really not a virus. It's absolutely not a virus. What, it, what it's flagging is that um, one of the things that we have to do in order to make sure that your cause gets a donation is that purchases have to get tracked, right? The store has to know that you are an iGive shopper in order to make all that credit come through iGive, and then we can pass it on to your store. The way that we do that is by simply passing along an anonymous number when you shop, when you're going to the store. So that was that one, two, three, four, five number I was talking about right. earlier. Right. So we pass it on, but through that whole process, there's cookies exchanged, okay? And cookies are just a little piece of information that gets stored on your computer. Not like chocolate chip or Oreo? Well, those are kind of my favorite. Actually, I like white chunk macadamia nut cookies. Okay. Especially if they're warm. With I, little... I'm gluten-free, so I don't okay. really eat cookies. So these are cookies that I can deal with, right? Don't you love it when we go off strip? <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, I like oatmeal raisin cookies, too. Okay. But right. back to the cookies on my cookies. computer. The, com the cookies on my computer right. have nothing to do with food, do Right, they? and actually, and there's, there's no security issue with them. They're not storing any information about you. We're not passing any information about you onto the stores. It's just a number, okay, that they can't associate with, with uh, you from us. Now, of course, you shop there. You're going to give them your email address, right, when you do so. So they're going to know who you are at that point. But that has nothing to do with us at that point. Anyway, back to the question which was about the virus. Because um, these cookies are being exchanged and stuff, it can, it, some security programs flag it as uh, ad, not, it, not even the malware, but it's ad tracking is what it's called. And that's what it comes up as flag for. And as we learn about these things from time to time, we've got to go out and talk to uh, Kapersky or uh, Norton or, Norton or, or these people and we say, and we, have to submit a, a, a request to be removed from their detection, and then they eventually do six months later. But in the meantime, we get, we get occasionally flagged. And so you can ignore that. You can choose to ignore it. Or what we do say is sometimes you can turn it off just while you're downloading the software and then turn it back on again. But it is safe to use. So if you don't have a desktop or laptop computer, we do have apps available. Now, I heard a little rumor that our apps are due for an upgrade this summer. Is that true? Absolutely. We are, cool. uh, we've are. we gone through a, a whole redesign phase. Development is underway. Hoping to get the first version for our own internal alpha testing uh, in May sometime. Awesome. And so sometime, I'm guessing mid to late summer, uh, the newly redesigned apps will be coming out. So you'll be want to watch for that in uh, your I Give newsletter and in some I Give emails from us. But in the meantime, we do have these great apps that are available if you're shopping either on a desktop, if you're not shopping on a desktop or laptop computer, if you're shopping on your phone or on a tablet device. Uh, unfortunately, the I Give button does not work with a phone or a tablet device. And so you would have to use one of the I Give apps. One of the biggest differences um, between the apps and the button is that where the button is automatic, so I can just type 
that I'm going to shop at Kohl's.com, and when it comes up, I'm there, or BestBuy.com. With the iGive app, you actually have to click on the link in the app to go to that store. So if I'm taking a vacation and I'm going on American Airlines Vacations, I need to open up my app and click on American Airlines Vacations. It will then take me to the American Airlines website and then the tracking is working. Right. If you're, if you're on a cell phone or an iPad or another tablet, um, if you don't open up the app and go through the app or just use your browser and go through the IDF site, right, that'll uh, you work won't too. get credit. I want to address a couple of questions we've got. Kind of sure, on absolutely. That, that ben has raised, uh, and Ben wants to know, uh, do you have to download the audio button if you set up an account on your desktop computer? First of all, you never have to download the audio button. It is completely optional. So we, I think we already covered that. Yeah. Um, but uh, we certainly recommend it. That way you never miss out on transactions. The reason that the iGiv button exists is because members said, oh, geez, I forgot to go through iGiv when I shopped at blank. And unfortunately, if you don't use iGiv to make a purchase when you shop somewhere, we can't give you credit. I wish we um, could. It really would be awesome. Yeah, it would be a wonderful world, but, you know, we have to occasionally get a paycheck, and, and uh, your charities want to get money, of course. In order to make that happen, uh, you have to get paid. So, um, so th that's why we created the button, so that you would have a way to make everything automatic and you wouldn't have to remember to start an item. So that's question number one. And then uh, Ben also raised a question. You were already talking about this, Lena. Uh, if you're using the iGive app on your smartphone, do you have to uh, download the iGive button on your smartphone as well? And the answer is actually you can't. Right. It's uh, the browsers that are built into your phones uh, and the iPad uh, don't support uh, browser extensions and browser add-ons. By the way, there's one other place that doesn't support browser extensions that I, I heard that that may be changing. But if you're using Microsoft Edge, which is the mm. browser that comes with uh, Internet Explorer 10, not Internet Explorer 10, um, Microsoft 10. Right. Uh, then Windows 10. Windows 10, thank you. <laughs> uh, then right now it does not, you cannot put the uh, I give button on it. As soon as Windows allows us to do that, as soon as Microsoft Edge comes and says, yes, you can add the I give button, we will absolutely uh, have a button put into development and test it and get it out to you as quickly as we can humanly do that. But right now that is a browser that does not. And actually, Microsoft just announced in the last week, I believe it was, that they are um, starting to do uh, beta testing of browser extensions. So oh, good. So hopefully, hope maybe to, by the holidays, to get winter that holidays. In place, hopefully, uh, in the, the next few months as well. Um, so, you know, as long as we're looking at this screen, we say igive.com always works too. I just thought I would just go over what we're looking at because I think people sometimes have a couple questions about that. So this is what the screen would look like when you sign on to iGive.com. Now, as you see, we have that little tiny, tiny line at the top. We call it the eyebrow, where it says, Hello, Lena, you've earned $17.67. So that comes up personalized for every person. And you'll see how much you've earned. If you go across the top, there's a shop search feature, my stores, all stores, stats, cause, tell a friend, settings, and log out. So in those areas, you can check and see whether you've earned some money, what stores you visited. You could click on the stats button and see your recently visited stores to make sure that your shopping is being tracked. You could click on tell a friend, and we'll talk about that in a little bit because that's a really important uh, button for uh, our upcoming promotion. Or your settings. If you click on settings, you can change your email address. You can change which cause you support. Did you know, Sandy, that you can change your causes? often as you want? Actually, you can only change it up to five times per day. Okay. Five times per day is max. If you have more than five causes, wow, that's a lot. It is. But if you wanted to shop today for one cause, like today I wanted to shop to support my daughter's skating team, but tomorrow I want to support my church, and on Friday I want to support my PTA, I could switch at the beginning of each day, and any shopping I did that day would go to the cause, as long as 
that was the place I visited after I switched my claws, right? Yep. Cool. All right. So this is what our page looks like. And by the way, you know, New I Give Stores and Distinctive Donations is also a favorite place that people like to check in to see what's going on. That information is also, by the way, in our newsletters that we send you every Sunday. So Amazon is different. Now, personally, I think Amazon is good different. Amazon is good different because Amazon actually offers you two opportunities to make donations. One through the iGift system and then through their own program, Amazon Smile. Because they have that, they also have some different rules and we've decided to allow them to have different rules than any other store. The first and most important rule that Amazon has that is different is that you can't just type in Amazon.com if you have the iGift button. It is the only store right now that is like that. Every other store, you type in the store name if they're an iGift store and you have the iGift button, you're good to go. With Amazon, you either have to use an app, you have to click on the seed icon in the uh, drop down and click on Amazon, go to iGive.com and click on Amazon or type iGive.com slash Amazon. All of that information, by the way, is available in our knowledge base. If you go to support.igive.com and click on the knowledge base and type in Amazon, there's an article there that explains everything I'm saying. But basically, the thing to remember is you have to start with iGive some way before you go to Amazon. But then a great thing happens. When you get there, we take you to smile.amazon.com, which is their own kind of iGive program. Now, Sandy, is everybody who's on Smile, everyone who's on iGive, are they in Smile? No. Well, first of all, excuse me, uh, smile.amazon.com is completely separate from iGive. So uh, it's a whole separate program. If you want to be part of smile.amazon.com, you have to go to smile.amazon.com. You have to apply for it. They have their own requirements. You have to be a 501c. Three and blah blah. I don't know. Wait, I give doesn't have We're any involvement that. with that. Though. Okay, on I give, uh, you can list your cause anytime. Uh, it just has to be. It uh, doesn't have to be a five hundred one c three. Of course, you can be. Right. But uh, there's very few limitations on uh, on what your cause can be. But if you are listing on both smiles on Amazon.com. Uh, and you are on iGive, you can do what we call double dip, and that is get credit through both both programs. And we love that um, because your charity is winning uh, even more. You know but what? If, if your charity isn't yeah. part of small.amazon.com, uh, we recommend you pick some other cause on there that you would like to support because why not do a little bit more good in the world even if you can't support the cause that you're supporting through iGive. And really, there are a lot of great causes out there that can benefit. So, for example, sometimes instead of switching back and forth, if I'm doing an Amazon purchase, I might support my church through I give, but the Ryan Breer Foundation is a foundation that's important to me, and I would support them through the Amazon Smile, and so it gets split that way. So the percentage that comes through I give would go to one place, but the percentage that goes through Amazon would go to the Briere Foundation, so it works that way as well. So one of the easiest ways I find for, for people to remember to go to Amazon is to make Amazon one of their favorite stores. Because if you use our favorite stores, then you have it all saved right there in an easy and convenient place for you to get to. The other advantage to adding a favorite store and but I find that this time of year it's a great thing, is the gift registry link. So with the gift registry link, you can share that link with friends. So if you want... Who don't have to be iGive members themselves. Right. They don't have to be iGive. So if you want to, say, tell people to buy a graduation present or a wedding present from a specific store and you want it to benefit your charity, but they're not iGive members, you could give them that gift registry link and they could go shopping using that link. It'll get credited to your account. So when you get the report on your account that says you, that the money was spent, remember, you didn't actually spend the money. Someone just used your link and shopped and that's how, how your cause got credited. But uh, it's a great way to A, save your favorite stores and know that they're there. B, 
to share with people who maybe are trying out iGive and aren't ready to join yet, and C, to, uh, to let people know that they can purchase gifts and support a cause at the same time. Well, they're also great if you have, let's say that you are a, an animal shelter, mm -hmm. support, and they have uh, a list of items that they need, uh, a gifts in kind kind of a page. Yeah. You can list, you know, uh, put the gift registry link for PetSmart or 1-800-PetMed or whatever iGive store you want on that page listed there so that not only can they donate the product that you want, but the charity also can make a little money off of the purchase. Oh, that's a great idea. I really like that. So it's another double dip. Yeah, problem. another double dip opportunity. Uh, the promo. Are we ready to talk again? Go for it. Okay. So, you know, we like to be a little silly if you hadn't figured that out from our cookie discussion earlier. But the one... Like cookies. Well, you can just like cookies. The one thing we don't fool around with, though, really, is donation. We are here because we want your cause to make money. That's, that's our whole purpose in life, is to make sure that your causes can be successful in their fundraising. So we're kicking off a promo for April. It is a $5 bonus for anyone new to iGive who joins from March 31st to April 30th and then tries that iGive button. And we know not everyone wants to try the iGive button, but that's what the promo is right now. You join and you try the iGive button. They have to install the iGive button and keep it on their computer until July 15th. And even if they don't shop at all, we kind of hope they'll shop, but even if they don't shop at all, if they join and have never been a member of iGive before, join and install that iGive button from now, from that date, whenever they join until July 15th, we're going to give an extra $5 to your cause. It's really that simple. And because Sandy was feeling generous and was playing around with some computer stuff, he decided to add an extra bit to the promo for, uh, for this coming Friday. So what are you doing? Oh, well, we figured, hey, why not kick this off on a high note? And we're going to do every purchase you make on the 1st of April. No fooling around. Mm -hmm. ha, ha, ha. That wasn't my bit. Um, <laughs> we're going to double donations. So every purchase you make, is Friday, April 1st? Okay. Yeah, it is Friday. Yeah, right. Friday's so April 1st. Friday, April 1st, any purchase that gets made between midnight on April 1st, Chicago time, yeah. which is central daylight savings time, uh, until midnight, Chicago time, central daylight savings time, uh, we will make sure that your cause gets double the donations. Now, just so you know, on the website, the regular rates are going to be shown, but when the transactions come in from the stores and we process them, they will be doubled. So you can look for those. So if it says that Home Shopping Network is 2%, that means I'm going to actually get 4%? That is what that means. That's awesome. And my cause is just going to get that extra money? I don't have to do anything else? I just have to shop on April 1st? You do have to shop, but everything else is on that. Wow, that's sure, awesome. you know, Of course, you know, as always, shop through the IGIF button, shop through the IGIF apps, use the website, Click on a link in the newsletter. You got to go through iGive to get credit for your purchase, but we will double those donations that happen on April 1st. And this is just going to be limited to one day. So it someone is. emails but, on Saturday and says, "I forgot." Yeah, that's unfortunate. But hopefully, you'll also be getting new people signed up to support your cause, so that you're getting these five dollar bonuses because those could really add up. In other they really can. And by the way. We're telling you guys early, the email doesn't go out to everybody else about this promotion or double donation until later. So, you know, you guys have a head start. Starting at midnight tonight, 12.01 a.m. Chicago time, Central Daylight Savings time, your friends can start joining and that $5 bonus kicks in. So just a couple hours from now. So a uh, question by Becky just in, and that is, uh, if I am an iGive member already, but I don't have the button, can I get the $5 bonus? Unfortunately, we're not going to do that. You know, just like any company, we have different promotions at different times, and this is really a promotion for new to iGive members. So, Becky, I'm going to show you something important. This is called the Tell a Friend page. And you should, if you're willing, 
send this out and let people know. Tell a friend what's going on. And you can start sharing this now if you want. Um, tell a friend that there's a bonus going on. I'd wait till tomorrow. Because if they sign up today, right, then they're they not going to get the bonus. So start tomorrow. tomorrow. But you can post it on Facebook. If you are on Facebook, you can tweet. You can send an email. Um, or you can use that special link right there. If you use your tell a friend link, it will actually pre-populate the person's uh, uh, page with your cause. So if you're supporting, you know, Sandy's, Sandy, I'll, I'll brag for Sandy a second here. His son's about to have his Eagle Scout ceremony this weekend. And so if Sandy wanted to share with everyone to support his son's troop, he would use his tell a friend link. And when people go and click on that link, it would say support the Boy Scout troop. And it would all be pre-populated there. All they'd have to do is put their name and their email address and uh, a zip code. And they would be off and, and running for uh, supporting the Boy Scout troop. Yeah, so we, we always strongly uh, recommend that you use the Tell a Friend uh, screen because that way, when the person clicks on the link in there, they come to iGive and they see your cause as the one that they are signing up for initially. You can just type in www.igive.com directly, right. but at that point, uh, they can choose whatever they cause that they want, right. and, uh, and your cause may or may not get credit. So, unless they choose it. Unless they choose it. So that's the telefriend link, and we did want you to, to see that. So, you know, remember that really all of this and making I Give successful for your cause is really about communication. Um, we do want to remind you that if you're a cause or a member, there are opportunities um, to ask us to post on your behalf on Facebook and Twitter. And we would be respectful of frequency and privacy and tone, and you can change your mind and say, you know what, you're posting too much, and you just would go in and change your settings. Um, for a member, that would be under that settings button. For a cause, it would be under cause. Um, also, we, you know, support.igive.com is a great place if you have a personal question, if you're just not sure about something. Um, during uh, business hours, our staff does uh, makes every effort to get back to you within an hour. Um, and nights and the weekends, it sometimes takes us a couple hours, but we do try and respond really fairly quickly uh, to all questions uh, that are being asked. So um, the other thing is, because we are getting into tax season, um, by the way, TurboTax is an iGift member, so if you are using TurboTax and you haven't bought it yet, you can actually get a donation uh, for your cause through TurboTax. But the other thing we wanted to remind you is that it is tax deductible. Uh, if you consult with your tax professional. If the clause that you are supporting is eligible for a tax donation uh, under the IRS rules, then you can go online and take a tax report and take that deduction uh, on your taxes if you itemize your taxes. So just understand that if you're printing the report for 2015, it is only going to show the donations where the clause actually received the check uh, in 2015. So if they uh, if the money is still pending, uh, then that doesn't count for 2015. Right, that would go to 2016. So that's pretty much all we have to say here from our side. But we're gonna uh, see if there's any more questions here, Sandy. Yep, you've sort of been monitoring, questions. and let's see what we can answer here. Okay, uh, give me a second here to make this a little bit bigger on my screen so I can actually read it. Um, okay, so Joanna asks, can the same account be used to download the iGive button on multiple devices or a desktop and the app? And the answer is absolutely yes. Uh, you, you should install the iGive button into any desktop or, uh, or Apple, uh, any laptop uh, browsers that you've got so that you don't miss any opportunities for donations. If you've got smartphones, uh, either iPhones or Android, um, those are the two we work on. Uh, if you've got uh, an iPad or an Android tablet, you can install the app on those and but make sure that for you this promotion, that. it's only for the iGive button, which is desktop and laptop, and you only get the button bonus once. So we encourage you to install it on as many computers as you'd like, but one button bonus per computer, per member. So if 
Sandy and I were sharing the same work computer. We can't both get the button bonus on the same computer for even if we have separate accounts. So you That's need to true. have to have separate accounts and separate computers. And you have to be, again, just to reiterate, you have to be new to IBM. Right. Right. So if I go out there and I create a new email address on Gmail and sign up for IGIV again, that's mm -hmm. that's actually fraud. Yeah. Yeah, you, know, you one one account per person and uh, new members only have to get the button. The apps don't count for this promo. And, yeah, and you know, we may do a promo, who knows, with the new with the new apps coming out, we might do a promo sometime this summer that has to do with apps, but this promo specifically is about the I give button. So Ben asks, if we get somebody new to sign up for iGive and they join using the iGive app, which you can register right through the app, mm -hmm. uh, will they get the $5 bonus if they don't download the button? And the answer is, unfortunately, no. But just because you register through the app doesn't mean that you can't then load the button onto your desktop or laptop computer into those browsers. So it doesn't matter how you join. What matters is that almost nearly within 24 hours after joining, right. you load the iGive button onto some device. Well, I was going to say that's kind of important, Sandy, because we do get some questions about that in support, which is you can join mobile, but please make sure that the people who join mobile within about 24 hours do install that button because what happens is it's actually an automated system, and we set it up to be automated because, honestly, it, it saves money. Um, and allows us to give more money back to your causes, but it's an automated system. So you're, when you join new during this promo period, the $5 will automatically be added to your cause account and attached to a member. If that member does not install the button within about 24 hours, then the bonus is taken away. So that's just the way our system works. And so encourage them to, to get that button installed quickly. Um, all right. Marion asks about a specific, uh, kind of a, a merchant-specific question, but the, I'll make it more generic, which is uh, she has a recurring order set up with a particular merchant and wants to know if she'll get credit for every monthly purchase that happens automatically. Well, the answer is that it's a little more complicated. It depends on the merchant. Some merchants do allow that, and once you set it up, they actually have it all set up in their system to report back to us. Many merchants do not. Many merchants require you to initiate the purchase every single time through iGive. One of the best ways to check that is for you to go to either iGive.com and click on that merchant to look at the merchant exceptions, or if you have the iGive button, click on that little green triangle in the bottom right corner, and when you click on it, it'll pop open a box that will have the current donation rate and coupons and any exceptions, and it will list what the rules are for that particular merchant. Uh, Becky asks about I give an Amazon smile uh, and is asking if the donation is doubled, and it's not quite doubled. Um, so we can only really address what I give does. Okay, so you'll get the rate you get through I give. On April 1st, that piece would be doubled because that's our special promo. On Amazon, they offer a different rate uh, for the donations they make. And I don't know if you know, Lena, maybe it's 0.5%. Or one, it's about 0.5%. Uh, I think that they do. But you, you, if, what you should really do is go to smile.amazon.com and see what they're offering. Because even though you can use I give and smile.amazon.com together, they are independent programs and they do have different rules and, and they have different rules and sometimes they're offering different donations on different parts uh, different levels of donation on different parts of, of purchases okay and then um, Gwen was asking about uh, specifically about some issues that she had had and what I would suggest uh, not just to Gwen but to anybody if you have any kind of a problem with iGive your starting point should be support.igive.com first of all We've got a knowledge base out there that you can search and look through and got a ton of information that you know what, in I'm gonna just go there right now so that everyone can see it. Ninety-five percent of all cases, uh, we've got information probably about the exact you spelled it wrong. I just about the exact that. you still spelled it wrong. 
about <laughs> about the exact issue that you've run into because uh, in many cases uh, more than one person has run into that. But um, I would say absolutely uh, if you have a problem, it's not answered in the in the knowledge base. Open up a ticket. Absolutely, we get back to people very very quickly. In fact, you will be dealing with Lena and her staff. So if they don't uh, answer your question, we will make sure that that happens. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> so I want to say though that this is the support portal at, at support.igive.com, and as you see, first of all, I'm going to click on the knowledge base. Um, you can type in almost anything. So here we see here. Our Amazon, I am highlighting it, our Amazon Smile and I give the same. So that's an article that explains to you exactly what is going on. So Amazon is currently donating 0.5% for most purchases. And, you know, here are some of the similarities and differences, and it's there. Almost any question that you might want to have answered should be here in the knowledge base. So we do encourage you to go there first. But that's okay. Sometimes it's easier for someone to just ask a question. So you click on Tickets. And it would say choose a department. So if you're a cause administrator, you might pick that. If you're a member, you would pick that. Let's say I'm a member. I'm going to click on member support here. And then I can put in whatever information I want. And I would type in the information. If I have uh, pictures of what's going on, send them. Because you know what? That helps my team diagnose what's going on. Sometimes it says to me, well, I got an error message. And then I have to call the tech team, and I have to call Sandy's team, and they're like, what was the error message? I'm like, oh, I don't know. So then I have to write you back and go, what was the error message? If you send me a picture of it, I can send it right on to his team. His team can look at it and see. And you would submit that ticket just like it is right here, and we would then respond to you. So it's a quick and easy way uh, for you to, to do that, and uh, we're happy to help you. So just want to show you that. Also, you know, technical support, if you're having a technical issue, you click on that and it goes to Sandy's team. So if you're having some problems with technical stuff, uh, it can, can go there as well. So I just wanted to show you that as long as we had a second. Um, Sandy, do you have any other questions? I do not see any other questions. So I think... Well, then at this point, I'd like to say thank you all for joining us. We hope that uh, this was educational and informational. The other thing I'd like to share with you is that we are going to be switching it up a little bit um, with some of our webinars and bringing in some guest speakers to join us um, who have specific levels of expertise in different areas. So please watch your emails uh, and check the uh, iGive website to see about when the next webinar is going to be. And we hope that you will tell all of your friends about the promo, and that uh, this will be one of our one of our best promos yet. It would be really awesome for me, I think, if uh, we could go back to Rob, our founder, and say that this was the best promo that we've ever had. Um, and I would love to see you know thousands of new members join. On average, we probably get about 300 members who join every day. So if I could get that number from 300 members up to you know 500 or a thousand members a day, think about how much money we would be giving to causes. That's just really in one about. month alone. Right. I mean, I just, I want to give money back. So thank you so much for joining us. If uh, we did not uh, answer your questions, um, please uh, feel free to send it to us in support.igive.com, and we will get back to you. And uh, Sandy, thank you so much for joining me, and uh, I hope that everyone has a great day. And the last thing I want to offer is be happy, eat more and on that note, we say goodbye. Bye, everybody.